Hey guys, uh, Mesa here. Um, a lot of friends have been asking me how to stream to multiple platforms at once. So um, I'm just going to make a quick video about it. So I'm an OBS user, so just open that up if you are as well. Or if you use other streaming tools like Shadowplay, um, it should work fine as well. Um, you'd want to open up your browser as well uh, and go to restream.io. Restream.io. Once you get here, sign up for a free account. It's totally free. Um, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. So basically, what Restream.io does is take your streaming signal and just broadcast it to multiple channels. Um, so that's exactly what you want. Um, once you set up your account, you should enter a dashboard like this. Um, what you want to do is to click Add Channel right over here, this button over here. And what it does is um, it shows you all the supported streaming platforms uh, here. So what you want to do is to click on the ones that you want to add. Um, some channels here are more specific for uh, mainland China streamers, Korean streamers, Japan streamers, um, Europe streamers. So just choose the ones that you would like to stream to um, in, at the same time. Uh, for me, it's just Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. So uh, once you add all those channels, you'll see them show up here. Um, you're basically 80% done already. Um, what you want to do next is do a quick speed test. Uh, click this button over here. So what this does is test your ping against all the restream.io servers around the world. Um, because you know I'm in Hong Kong, so this Asia server um, has the lowest ping. So we're just going to use that. Um, you go back to dashboard after. Um, just choose your um, server. And then you'll have the RTMP streaming uh, URL. And then they will also generate a stream key for you as well. So um, make sure you log down these information. And then head over to your streaming tool. For me, it's OBS. What you want to do is go into settings. Uh, go to stream. And then on the services, um, just choose restream.io. So it's pretty popular, so it should be already on there. Um, and then if, if it's not, just click show all services. Then it will expand the list, and then you'll see it. Choose the server. So for us, it's Asia, Singapore. Um, enter the stream key you got from uh, restream.io. And then just click OK and you're done so basically once you have this set up on your streaming tool and also you got your channels um, set up uh, once you start streaming um, restream.io will put your signal to all these channels at once as well um, another feature for restream.io is that they have like a centralized setting um, for example if you go to titles you can basically type in a title for a day maybe today's date uh, streaming live now come join me blah 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 and then just click update all um, it will automatically update all the titles of the stream that you have on different platforms so um, that's pretty convenient so if you have maybe like 10 then you don't have to go into each channel and change it one by one you can just do it all here um, they also have a feature called social alerts what this does is that uh, if you connect to your Twitter or Facebook account. Uh, once you start streaming, it will help you automatically post a feed to these social channels to let people know that you're actually streaming. You can also tailor your uh, message. Um, so this is the post that will go out if if I connected my accounts and, and, and I stream. So it's it's pretty good if you want you know more exposure or. Um, you know, the community that you have on these social channels would care about you streaming. Um, so the other is monitor. So you just, uh, it's basically just a log of all your um, streams. Um, analytics, self-explanatory. It's just all the, you know, streaming duration, streaming time, viewers count and stuff like that there. So it's just beta. So some of the features don't work, but it's 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 got your overview in there um, they also have a thing called chat which is a centralized restream chat um, that allows for you know 
people to comment on different platforms, but you can view them centrally um, in this chat. Um, I don't do that uh, mainly because I have very few comments on my stream right now, but um, and I usually just respond to direct messages or comments uh, one by one. Um, but I may, I might try it out later. But if you are and you have a lot of interactions, then please do please use this it's gonna be a big help um, and you're done basically um, so you've got it all set up uh, when it's online it's gonna go all uh, online at the same time um, if you have specific channels that you don't want to stream to just put it to off um, maybe because you uh, this the server isn't that stable on that particular server or your content is not for that particular channel's audience then just turn it off and that's it so I uh, hope you guys have a great time and just let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how to do this better let me know as well I'm open to suggestions um, and yeah see you later